In this video, I'm going to talk about 10 DeFi projects that you need to watch out for. So many of these are cutting edge projects, and I'm going to talk about what they do and why you should care about them. I'm going to offer my perspective as a blockchain developer who works with the Ethereum network on a daily basis. So before we get into that, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn how to master blockchain step by step from start to finish, then head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. All right, so let's get into these 10 projects. So a few ground rules first, you know, this is not financial advice. I'm not telling you to buy all these things. I don't owe all these tokens, so I'm not just like shilling my bags either. And this isn't a sponsored video. And this is not a complete list. You know, there's plenty of projects that I'm going to leave off today, but these are all really important user facing apps that you can go use right now. And they're all powered by Ethereum, which is where most of the activity in DeFi is happening right now. And if you've watched my channel already, you've probably heard me talk about some of these, but I'm definitely going to introduce you to some new ones today. So let's get started. So the first project is Synthetics, which is a protocol for trading synthetic assets on Ethereum. So what does that mean? Well, basically, it means that you can trade uh, other assets on the blockchain, right? So gold, for example, you know, Forex, um, other indices, or even stocks, okay? And also cryptocurrencies that aren't native to the Ethereum platform because Synthetics runs on top of Ethereum. If you want to do things like, you know, trade Bitcoin, uh, you could do that with Synthetics. So it's got a really nice looking user interface, okay, which you can see here. If you go to Synthetics.exchange, you can go ahead and click on Trade and get started immediately. And that's one of the big values of Synthetics is that there's, you know, zero friction to getting started. All you need is an Ethereum wallet and some cryptocurrency in order to get started today. And you can start trading things like you know, gold, uh, lots of other assets that would be a lot harder to in a traditional financial system. Basically, you'd have to have you know all this red tape that you'd have to get past. You'd have to KYC, et cetera, et cetera. You don't have to do any of that with synthetics, okay? And Synthetics has a token, which has performed really well over the last year. You know, it's seen 100x returns if you zoom out and look at the, uh, you know, one year plus mark. All right. So there's lots of reasons for that. Uh, one of the biggest reasons that this, is that the Synthetics token actually has, you know, utility in the S Synthetics ecosystem. If you hold uh, Synthetics and you stake it, then you can earn, you know, passive income rewards for doing that. And that's a big trend in these DeFi projects right now. And it's one of the big reasons that the entire space is blowing up. So let's talk about some other projects that do very similar things. And that's what we'll do next. So the next project is Aave. All right. So this is a savings and lending app which basically means that you can deposit cryptocurrencies in here and earn interest, right? And then you can also borrow cryptocurrencies on the other side and basically, you know, pay interest, you know, fee for doing that as well, okay? So that's how the app works is it kind of replaces a bank's function to where, you know, people put money in it and earn interest and then they make earn a spread uh, by lending money out, you know, on the other side like this. And I think this is a huge deal for the crypto ecosystem because it provides a value proposition that, you know, everyday users can understand. Basically, you can earn a competitive interest rate compared to your bank account. You know, my, my bank account gets like 0.01% interest. And if you put money in here into a stable coin like DAI, for example, that's a better uh, way to like park your money. Now, that's not financial advice. I'm not telling like everyday users to do this. There's significant risks involved with something like this. But that's one of the core value propositions of Aave. And so the Aave token has done really well. You know, it's also seen 100x returns if you zoom out to like, uh, you know, a little over a year. And that's also because the Aave Aave token. Uh, well, first and foremost, the project's really awesome, and the Aave token actually has utility. So, um, you know, you can stake it. And also you can use it as a governance token, which is a really hot uh, topic right now in DeFi, where basically if you're a token holder, uh, you can, you know, voice what should happen with the protocol. So number three is Compound Finance. So this is another savings and lending app that works a lot like Aave in the sense that you can uh, you know, deposit cryptocurrency and earn interest and also borrow it on the other side. And so it's important for that reason, right? Uh, but one of the reasons Compound is so important is because they were one of the first to introduce liquidity mining, which basically means they uh, introduced their comp token, all right? And they uh, started issuing these comp tokens as a way to incentivize people to start using the protocol. So this is kind of like an ICO, but a little bit different. So instead of buying the token on an exchange, uh, you could just start supplying your funds to the compound protocol and also borrowing funds from the compound protocol. And as long as you were doing that, like you would earn comp tokens. And so this is still going on. And it's kicked off a major uh, trend in the DeFi space right now where people can just you know lock money into these protocols or borrow and earn tokens that way. 
And another cool thing is, you know, we're looking at a user facing app here for compound finance, but, you know, fundamentally there is a protocol underlying this, which can be accessed by other user interfaces. So we've seen compound integrated into other like mobile wallets and stuff like that, where basically users can just onboard by putting in their credit card, uh, you know, buying some dye, for example, and with a click of a button, supplying their dye to compound in the background and earning interest that way. So that's, that's pretty awesome. And I can see a lot more of that happening in the future. So the next project is Why Earn Finance. It's kind of a, a legendary project because they saw a 100x return on their token in like six days. So this is a pretty crazy thing that happened. And for that reason, there's a lot of eyeballs on Wi-Fi. And also because it's a pretty cool app. So, you know, it takes this uh, concept of liquidity mining to a new level, okay? So, you know, when we're talking about, you know, liquidity mining with Compound, for example, you can basically do what's called yield farming and kind of maximize your earnings. And that's exactly what uh, one of the core features of wire and finance does is it does automated liquidity mining or automated yield farming. And it's got a lot of other cool features too. And they're, you know, constantly adding new things to this project over time. And this is definitely one that you want to keep an eye on in the long term. So the next project is Uniswap, all right? So this is a decentralized exchange, which means that it's a cryptocurrency exchange that's uh, powered by smart contracts on the Ethereum blockchain. It's non-custodial. They don't handle your funds. You know, your money stays in your wallet the entire time until you make a trade. And you might look at this app and say, hey, this doesn't even look like an exchange. Uh, but that's because Uniswap does a few things differently, all right? You, you know, you'll notice there's no like candlesticks charts here. There's no order book or anything like that. You basically just select the cryptocurrency Currency that you want to sell and the cryptocurrency you want to buy and you just swap them instantly. And so it's pretty cool user experience, right? And on the back end, Uniswap has something called an automated market maker, which uses this idea of liquidity pools that these other apps have, you know, like Compound, for example, Aave, where users are just parking their funds. And it automatically determines a price based upon that. And that's how you're able to instantly swap uh, one token for another. Now, Uniswap does not have a token at the time of recording this video like these other projects, but it's a super important project in this DeFi space right now because basically all the hot uh, DeFi tokens are getting listed on Uniswap before they're getting listed on centralized exchanges like Coinbase or Binance, for example. And that's one of the reasons we're seeing a lot of Ethereum adoption right now as people are you know, signing up uh, for MetaMask, you know, buying Ether and getting ready to buy tokens as soon as they hit Uniswap because they speculate that the price will increase quite a bit. So number six is Balancer. Okay, so this is another decentralized exchange uh, that operates in the kind of the new DeFi paradigm uh, where you just, you know, swap tokens instantly. Again, it's a simple interface, a lot like Uniswap, where there's no, you know, order book or anything like that. And so on the back end, you know, it, there's another automated market maker, a lot like Uniswap. And of course, other users can earn passive income rewards for joining these liquidity pools, but it's got some more advanced features. So look at some of those here. Uh, so if we got private liquidity pools where only, you know, you can add or remove liquidity. Um, you know, you can, um, there are dynamic swap fees based on the underlying volatility. If there are more complex pools with like lots of different assets, you know, you can just join with uh, a single asset. You can constantly tweak your strategy over time by adjusting the weights. And you can also do things like, uh, you know, use the pool tokens within new pools for extra exposure. So Balancer also has their own token as well. And this is definitely one that people are going to keep their eye on as this DeFi space continues to boom. So next is Curve Finance. And I think this is number seven on the list so far. <laughs> so Curve is another decentralized exchange, a lot like Uniswap, a lot like Balancer but it's for stable coins, okay? So um, what is the unique value proposition of Curve? Well, it uses something called bonding curves to do things like uh, reduce slippage, which basically means like when you buy more, uh, the rate of redemption stays closer to the original rate of redemption. Essentially, it scales. And so it has, you know, liquidity pools in the background and Curve also has their own liquidity mining program for the Curve token, uh, which is going to launch very soon at the time of recording this video. So it's not out yet, but uh, Curve has done a really cool thing where they're basically going to reward people with Curve tokens who have joined the liquidity pools uh, prior to the Curve token launch. Now, of course, they're vested uh, over, I believe, one year, so they can't just dump their entire Curve balance on, you know, launch day. But it is a really cool way of rewarding users who, uh, you know, decided to use their product and not somebody else's, you know, before the token launched. And of course, you'll see that uh, Curve has a very Windows 95 looking user interface, which some people think is kind of strange, but I personally like it. I think it's cool. Uh, it differentiates this from other projects. 
and I think it's cool. So number eight is M Stable. All right. So this is a pretty cool project that does several different things. All right. So it unites stable coins, lending and swapping into one standard. So it has, you know, a lot of similar functions to some of the projects that we've seen before. But one of the coolest benefits that I think that they're after is, uh, you know, swapping USD stable coins at zero slippage. I mean, zero. All right. That's definitely a problem that we're seeing in the DeFi space right now. And they're working hard to fix that. Okay. So, you know, inside the app, you know, you can mint, uh, you can save by depositing a lot like these other apps. Uh, you know, you can earn swap and also redeem anything that you've deposited into the app. And one thing you might notice is that, you know, there's a lot of similar features to some of these apps, especially when you're talking about swapping tokens. But that's actually a really good thing in this DeFi ecosystem because it does bring some kind of competition. And when there's more DEXs like this, uh, then it allows the markets to come into efficiency faster, which basically means you'll see fewer price discrepancies. And this competition, you know, ultimately really helpful for these cryptocurrency prices. So Meta, MTA is uh, Mstable's protocol token. So it's their cryptocurrency. And uh, this is one that I'm going to be watching for sure. You know, a lot of people like to find cryptocurrencies that are under $100 million market cap. And that's definitely the case here. Okay. So of course, this is not financial advice. I'm not telling you to buy uh, Meta. I don't know what's going to happen with the price in the future, but this is definitely one to keep your eye on. So project number nine is wrapped Bitcoin or WBTC. So what is this? Well, basically it's taking your Bitcoin and uh, moving it over to Ethereum. So how does it do that? Well, basically, uh, it locks your Bitcoin and turns it into an ERC-20 token, okay, which is just a smart contract that, you know, determines how the cryptocurrency works. Um, so it's it's really cool because it makes your Bitcoin safe to trade on Ethereum. And uh, I think this is amazing for the DeFi space because... A couple reasons. One, it allows you to participate in these liquidity mining programs where basically if you want to join a pool with your Bitcoin, you can do that. And this is a pretty compelling value proposition for a lot of people because uh, a lot of people want to hold Bitcoin long term. Okay, so you could just do that and then move it over to Ethereum and join a liquidity pool. Now, of course, there are significant risks involved with this. I'm not telling you to do that, but it's a pretty big benefit of the project. Okay, so that's project number nine. And I'm going to quickly jump over to project number 10 because it's a very similar and this is Ren. So Ren is a lot like um, wrapped Bitcoin because you can move you know, Bitcoin over to the Ethereum blockchain to use it for the same reasons. But Ren actually supports more cryptocurrencies okay, and other blockchains. So basically, uh, you can do Bitcoin, so Ren BTC, a lot like wrapped BTC or WBTC, but you can also do Bitcoin Cash, Zcash, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And what these other projects do is they basically bridge between multiple blockchains and then create Ethereum based versions of Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Zcash, et cetera, et cetera. And so I think it's really cool. I'm excited to see where these projects go because there's a lot of demand for the Ethereum network and this will allow you to uh, take non Ethereum based assets and move them over to Ethereum so that they can, um, you know, participate in DeFi. So those are 10 DeFi projects that you need to know about. All right. So if you're as excited about this DeFi space as I am, then smash the like button down below and subscribe to this channel to see more videos like this one very soon. And if you want to capitalize on this blockchain trend, you know, what's the best way to do it? Well, of course, you can speculate on some cryptocurrency, all that kind of stuff. But the, the best way, the best conservative way over the long term to make money is to become a blockchain developer. You know, it's a high income skill and you can solve your cash flow problem. OK, so how can you get started doing that today? Well, you can go to my YouTube homepage and find any of my YouTube courses there. They're like, you know, you, Udemy courses, but they're totally free for you to use like right now. And if you like those and you want to take the next step or, hey, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely, you know, that I can show you how to, you know, master blockchain step by step from start to finish build a real world DeFi app, all right? Uh, just head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. So that's all I've got. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.